welcome to my channel welcome if you are new i am gonna start doing a different type of vlog are we, are we shocked that i'm changing my content up again no i did get this idea from steph from steph loves so i'm not gonna take credit for this um because it's not my idea but basically um I was finding that there were weeks where I had no, maybe it's just bad planning on my part, could possibly be, but there were weeks where I wasn't reading anything for a specific dedicated vlog that I was doing, but because I'd stopped weekly vlogging, I then just didn't film, and then I got out of the, like, routine of filming. So then you'll probably notice that there's not really that many sit down videos. I do have a lot of like tags that I can do, but because I'd got out of routine of filming regularly, I'd like I'd forget to do vlog updates or you know that kind of thing. So I just I think I'm gonna try this way. Um so credit to like Steph Loves, like I said, for this idea. I'm gonna try and do a monthly vlog. So in here you're only gonna see the books that I read that are not part of a dedicated vlog. I might now and again show you what I'm reading alongside that, but then, because I'm, I'm still debating whether or not I want to do monthly wrap-ups still. So, you know, I'll, I'll decide, I'll decide. But this is, this is what I'm going to be trying to do. So, I'm gonna, we're on the 31st, but we're nearing the end of the day. So, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of things that I'm reading in the next week and what my plans are for this week. So, we're on Thursday, the 31st of August. Um, and the books that I have got on the go, one of them is Chain of Iron by Cassie Clare. I am further than page 26, so. Uh, but that's just where my bookmark is. But I'm reading this, and I do have a dedicated vlog coming for this. It will already be out by the time that this monthly vlog goes live. So I will leave it linked in the cards when I do, um, when I once I've posted it. And then I have a full TBR on the go. So come here, then, my friends, and bear witness to what I'm going to do. Um, here is my lovely TBR cart. Should we have a look? Okay, so one of the books that I need to read near the beginning of the month um, is Deviate by Dear Christoph. Because me and Chloe are doing the Christoph along and this is our August book that I didn't get a chance to read. So I need to read this at the beginning of September before our live show so that we can discuss it. It is a very quick read, it's available on Scribd and I do have access to Scribd so that's absolutely fine. I'll be able to get through with that. So I think what I'm going to do is try and get through this within the first week. I'm going to speak to Chloe and see if she wants to do uh, the live show at some point. Either the back end of next week or the beginning of the week after. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. So there's that. There is also a witch's, fake, a witch's Guide to Fake Dating Demon. I'm taking part in the Vampire Diaries Readathon. So I'm going to try and get as many fun books in as possible that also fit in with those themes. This could count for a romance, but I do also have one of the Brown Sisters books down as a potential for that one as well. But I, I had this in my MBR for a couple of months now. And it was kindly gifted by Ashlau because I want to, I want to read it. So I think this week I'm going to try and read Deviate, Chain of Iron and A Witch's Guide to Fake Dana Demon. In between that I do have the option of picking up a manga. I have a few manga that I started for my manga taste test video. Again, I will leave it linked to the cards and in the description. But a couple of those were bind ups, so I would ideally like to get those bind ups finished this month. And that's it, really. So before we go, I'm just going to give you a quick haul of what I've received in the last couple of days. 
So, Solaris put on Twitter that they were offering some proofs of a book that's coming in September. No. Um, Solaris off were offering some proofs of a book that's coming in February 2024. And this is the cover of the arc. And on the back it says, Heresy is Power, Chaos is Divine. And it's called Red Sight. And I read the synopsis and I was just like, very, this is very me. But also, that is the actual cover and what it's going to look like. So you may have seen that bounding about Twitter. And I keep calling it Twitter even though I know it's called X. But I'm going to give you the, um, the rundown of the synopsis. It's a sapphic science fantasy debut of priestesses, pirates of the power for fans of... <laughs> It's a sapphic science fantasy. Um, de it's a sapphic science fantasy debut of priestesses, pirates, and power. So Karina has simple priorities: stay on the Navitas, stay out of trouble, and stay alive. She may be a red seer, a blind priestess with the power to manipulate space and time, but she is the weakest in her order, useless, an outcast, or is she? Or so she has been made to believe. As she takes her place as a navigator on an Imperium ship, Karina's full destiny is revealed to her. Blood brimming, blood brimming with magic, she is meant to become a weapon of the Imperium and a pawn for the order that raised her. But when the ship is attacked by the notorious pirate Asta Haran, Karina's world is ripped apart. Asta has a vendetta against the Imperium and an all-consuming dark power that drives her to destroy everything in her path. She understands the world in a way Karina has never imagined, and Karina is drawn to her against a better judgement. With the Imperium and the Justice Seeker warrior Soha hot on her heels, Karina must choose her side, seize her power and fulfil her destiny, or risk imperiling the future of the galaxy and destroying the fabric of space and time itself. So, it, it was obviously, like... I love a bit of diversity in the book, so sapphic was a tick. The fact that it's fantasy sci-fi and the blend of the two genres, I just I, I had to pick it up, and I, I had to put I had to perform my request to have an arc, and I'm so happy that I got got this. Um, I'm going to try and get it on my September TBR. If not, I do have a couple of months that I can read this in before it's due out. Um, so I'm really excited and I'm hoping I like it. But there's that one. I was then also kindly sent um an arc by Black Crow PR and Daphne Press. And this is Bride of the Shadow King by Sylvia Mercedes. So this is book one. Book two, Vow of the Shadow King, is out in October 2023. So that is a purpley type of that's what that one looks like. So I'll give you the synopsis. Though she is the oldest daughter, Princess Ferrain lives in the background, shunned from court and kept out of sight. Her chronic illness makes her a liability to the crown, and she has learned to give place to her beautiful, favoured younger sister in all things. When the handsome, enigmatic Shadow King comes seeking a bride, Ferrain is not surprised that her sister is his choice. Though not eager to take a human bride, King Vaw is willing to do what is necessary for the sake of his people. When he meets the lively Princess Ilsevel, he agrees to... Um, a marriage arrangement so why can't he get the haunting eyes of her older sister out of his head so this intrigued me when um, it was offered as an option for an arc because it has disability rep and I'm always intrigued about how disability rep is sort of presented in a book especially with it being like a chronic illness so it'll be very good to see I'll be interested to see how well it is written next up we have our dark duet by v schwab this is one i purchased myself and this is book two in the duology this savage song is book one i read this already for schwab along and i was just waiting on this special edition that i pre-ordered before <laughs> this savage song came out last year so i've been waiting a year for this but this is in b format and i've really annoyed that I think um, Fragile Threads of Power and that trilogy is going to be in standard, not be format. So it's going to throw, throw off my Schwab collection. It's going to stress me out. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I finally got a hold of that. So that's me done for now. I'm going to head off and I'm going to see 
what reading I can get done. I'm going to pop in and let you know what I've read. And hopefully I can get a chunk read. I'm, I'm, things are slowly, slowly getting better at work. I'm just taking it day by day. For those of you who don't know, I have started a job as a manager. And I knew that I had a hill to climb. However, it's more like... You know Mount Everest than one of the three peaks. Do you know what I mean? So it's been a lot on the brain. So I'm just trying to figure out life, and I've just been mentally exhausted <laughs> every night when I've come home. So apart from manga, my August wrap up is going to be pretty low on the novel side, <laughs> on the reading side. But anyway. Hopefully September will be better. I have two readathons. I'm really excited to take part in. And yeah, we'll see how we go. Join me for the ride. Oh my friends, update. We are now on September 2nd. Because, yeah, of course I did step past midnight reading. Who doesn't? I am on page 96 of Chain of Iron. I've updated the vlog with that information and break down on my feelings thoughts and ponderances and then I've also started and finished which is fake guide fake guide to, blah, 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 which is guide to fake dating a demon. I loved this. This is another Meg Megrek and I just I don't know how she does it. This is probably the fifth or sixth book that she's recommended. Minimum six Rex that have all turned out to be five stars from differing genres. Yes a lot of them are contemporary but Gideon's a sci-fi. I've also had a recommendation for The Whispering Dark, which I still need to read. And I'm hoping that given the, the role that she's currently on, that will also be a five star. And we've got June Print Thorn by Ava Reed, who we are reading next month. I can't remember if she said that, I think that's a new read for her, but it's one she's excited to read, I think. I think. But yeah, we're excited for that. So yeah, 2nd of September, early hours of the 2nd. Already one book down, already one book finished. That's absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to my mum's this weekend, my mum and dad. Um, but it's just for the Saturday, I will be home on the Sunday. But I don't want to take Chain of Iron with me, and I don't generally vlog when I'm at my parents' house. They do now know that I do vlog, because I uploaded a short clip of various clips of the podcast that we do, and various clips of a vlog that I did. And forgetting that TikTok has this new thing that says, oh, the, your contact has TikTok. I'm going to show you some TikToks from the contacts that you have. And my TikTok came up with my dad. So, <laughs> my dad now knows that I do this. It's not a big deal. Um, they had some questions, but it's, it's, yeah, I just don't vlog when I'm at their house because it just... It feels awkward vlogging in front of people anyway that don't do this kind of thing, if that makes any sense. So what I'm going to do is, I'm only there tomorrow and probably Sunday morning. I think I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm not going to take my Kindle anymore because that's going back to Amazon. Because I'm getting a Kindle e-reader um, and I'm returning my Kindle Fire and trading it in. Because I wanted to get through DVA and DVA is on script. I might take DVA to read for a couple of hours when I'm in bed. Um, and I don't need to, well, I technically don't need to take the physical book with me. Because I've, I've got it on script. And I, with this one, I don't really need to take as many like intricate notes as I do for like Chain of Iron and those kinds of books. Because the I just, I feel like this, these aren't as complex a plot and thing as, as Chain of Iron. But I think what I might do is take one of my manga so that I can read during the day. Then I will update you when I'm back on Sunday, which is phone upgrade day. I'm going to try and upgrade this dying phone. <laughs> on the one hand, I do like phone upgrade day brilliant. On the other hand, I don't because it means that you have to go and go and um, transfer everything from one phone to another and that, my friends, is a farce. I will be back with you on Sunday at some point. 
hello friends i'm coming in we are on september the third sunday and i decided because jem kindly shared something with me so i've started the manga 13 30 um so i'm, I'm technically three manga behind already and even though they're in bind ups i am going to go on volumes not bind ups because i don't think yet they have 30 bind ups that's why I'm lying to you, probably do. So, Tokyo Rangers Volume 2 is done. And I could totally understand why Jem just wanted to dive into the whole of this series. There's 12 volumes out at the moment. And I'm so good that I don't have the money to just get the rest of the volumes. Because this left you on a cliffhanger. And I've got absolutely no idea how they're going to fix things. And sorry if you're wonky. Um, that's not what I wanted. So I set up at the back of my journal a little manga 1330 with some stickers that I needed to use. And we started with Tokyo Avengers Volume 2. I think what I'm going to do now is move on to... Bleach, the Bleach Omnibus, because I've got two volumes to read in that. And then I've got two volumes. I don't know how the volumes work with Orange, whether it's each letter is a volume. I need to work out what that situation is. But I have a couple of volumes left of Orange, although I might not count that in my, in this month's. I can't work out the volume situation. However, I am going to tell you that I forgot to show you my Critical Kit dice for this month. I have paused it for next month, um, just because of money. But this month's theme was bees, and each of the little dice has like little bees in them. So this is one set, and you get like a full set of like colourful little dice with bees in so they're gonna go in my dice my dice my dice bag and then there is a black and yellow black and no black and orange set as well um and i don't know if you can pick it if it picks up properly but they're kind of like got little flecks on them but there's that and then you always get like an extra little gift with it and this month was a little bee pin bee pin there we go um so this is now gonna go my little pin banner and that's it i have started deviate for the Christoph Long. That Christoph Long live is going live on Tuesday. We have read some more of Chain of Iron Chain of Iron vlog will have all the spoilery thoughts in that. I haven't read anything else. Oh, I'm lying to you. No, I'm not. Have I? Am I? I don't know. No, I'm not. I haven't started anything else yet. I do need to get cracking with my um, battle from TBR though because you can't continue until you've read first book and you fulfilled your, first, your, your main prompt. And my main prompt is my dragon prompt i think i think that's how it works um and that's hellbent so i need to read hellbent this week and then i can continue with the rest and log the rest of my books if that makes any sense does it ninth house was a four or 4.5 but i do think that hellbent has the capacity to be a five but i will come back and update you when i've got more to talk to you about hello, hello hello friends i'm knocking you over i don't know what i'm doing i just thought i'd come in here and just update you on what is going on so far so today is tuesday the fifth what month are we in september september still going on with chain of iron i'm just not going to talk about it i'm scared to go back to it okay it's just the fear but meg is Berating me to go back to it, so I need to go back to it. I have started to re-listen to it. I'm going to make some food and then continue to listen to it, but I'm not ready and I'm I'm just very scared. Some things I have finished, though, I, have to, uh, I can update one. Finished 
the omnibus of Bleach, had the discussion with Jem about the thing that's different in here to the series, and we had a little bit of a confused discussion, and we're still both unsure. Um, and it just means I'm gonna go have to. I'm gonna have to gonna go back. I'm gonna. What? I'm gonna have to go back and watch the anime, just to double check. Once I've finished it, go back and watch that bit that we did confused about. But that means that in order to get to that bit, I need to rewatch the first season. Such a shame. Such a shame. Deviate, J. Christoph, book two in the True Life, Lifelike series. Three stars. Not gonna talk about it. If me and Chloe had a very short, ranty live about the book, and it wasn't good. I'm disappointed. A fave author has let me down, and I wasn't ready for it, okay? I don't want to talk about it. But on to better things manga. This was the omnibus that Jen bought me for some reason. I don't really know what. Maybe I was feeling down and she bought it me. I can't remember. Um, there's a note in here somewhere. Um, I have read volume two of this. I, I am already like way ahead of this in the anime, but it's really good to come back and see the kids from where they start. And I'm saying kids because they are they are very much kids at the beginning of this. I'm not happy about the bad things that go down that I try to forget. Um, but ah, oh, this was congratulations on the job. I'm not I'm not happy about some of the things that go down. It's just a reminder of how they just like to stab you in the heart. And twist it a little bit i need to read volume three of this and then i will i was going to try and do that tonight but meg wants me to read chain of iron i don't know i'm very confused right now i'm, I'm just i'm trying to do the manga 30 and 30 and i don't want to get like too far behind but um, i also don't want to get behind on other books because the live show for uh, chain of iron is next week so i am currently we're currently on the fifth and I have read Tokyo Revengers Volume 2, um, Bleach Volumes 2 and 3, which I've classed as separate ones because um, they are separate volumes and I've read them on separate days, and then Attack on Titan Volume 2. That leaves me with one being one day behind. I could do with finishing it, to be honest, and finishing the, the, the bind up, but we'll see. Um, being one day behind on manga is not a big deal. If it was on an actual book, I probably would be a bit nervous about it. But I then want to move on to, um, I've started watching The Full Metal Alchemist again from the beginning because I got part way through when it was on Netflix and I can't remember where I got to. So I'm just starting from the beginning again. Shame. I have to go to see it as Alonso right from the start. Um, I do want to continue with this, but we have a problem. I don't know how these, I don't know how these uh, were originally formatted. I know that you can get them in like individual volumes, but in the bind ups they are split into letters. And I don't know if it's a volume per letter, because a letter is literally that, so I don't think it is. Um, or if it's a couple of letters per volume. So I might have to just class this as like one volume, unless I can find out how it's actually broken down before it was put in a bind up it might be too confusing for my brain to deal with right now it's fine i don't think i'm gonna get i don't think i'm gonna get through the books that i want to get through for um what's it called battle on i don't know if i've understood it wrong i don't know if the prompts are just for the week for week one or what but um i do know that you have to read one book before you can continue and the book that you need to read is like Colour of Your Dragon I think I need to go back and look at the um, rules but you know brain functioning is at low capacity right now I think that was the case and if that's the case I haven't even started helping yet so I'm pretty much failing at Battlethon we're just gonna pretend that that doesn't exist right now <laughs> I do want to take part but I'm, I'm, my brain's just not with it and I've got other things I'm in a manga phase right now and Jessie from Jessie Fee just started a booktube channel and she's one of Gem's friends and I've, I've met her through Gem and we are all in like um anime manga sort of haul together and we are watching the same shows and we are having like discussions about who our favourites are and just fangirl and other favourite characters and it's just it's just fun we're having a fun fire and fucking fresh time 
and I'm kind of in that zone right now. That's kind of where I'm enjoying sitting alongside audiobooks. So I need to get into like judging mode because Sphinx starts this week and I need to start reading some novellas and then SPSFC has started and I'm a judge for that. I do need to get out of this headspace that I'm in. But I will I will get into it. I need to just I think I just need to reset it myself. That's all I need to do. And stop thinking about doing so many things and just maybe get a list together. Because I think I've almost overwhelmed my brain at work and then I'm trying to get out of the almost overwhelmed situation like the brain overload situation and it's hard to just wind down after work because my brain's still shooting things off at like 10 to the dozen and I don't, I, I can't seem to just switch off. That's not good. Eventually I will be able to but do you know when something just pops into your head and I'm like oh crap I need to do that tomorrow, oh I need to do that tomorrow and then I need to find my to-do book to write it down in. You don't need to know about this, I'm just saying, it's, at the moment it's just a bit eh. All up, all up in the air, all over the place. But I am getting on with Chain of Iron. I will be listening to some more of that while I grab some food tonight. That's it. I'm gonna try. I'm, I might, once I've listened to maybe an hour or so of Chain of Iron, which is probably gonna be a chapter, not gonna lie, I want to finish this tonight. So I'm at least caught up on my 30 and 30. And then I can give Gem my thoughts on Attack of Titan Volume 3. Yeah, let's, let's try that. And we'll see where we go from there. Hello friends, it is now Saturday the 9th of September and I have finished multiple manga volumes. I don't know what I've updated on previously so I'm just going to say I think I already updated you on Attack on Titan and Solo, Solo Leveling Volume 1 but I have also now finished Solo Leveling Volume 2 and 3 which means I am one day behind on the manga 1330 challenge and I will be continuing with this as soon as possible. I have volumes 4 and 5, 6 and 7 are already out and 8 is due out shortly. I think I need to like get my hands on these ASAP Rocky. Um, I do have Full Metal Alchemist Volume 3 that I want to read and I do still have a chain of iron to finish. I am worried about finishing that because things are happening and I'm not liking how it's going and in, in, well, right okay so that makes me sound like I'm not liking it but I am enjoying it but because certain things are happening to characters that I really like. <laughs> I'm not liking that if that makes sense. I just want everyone to be happy and it's not currently going the way that I want it to. So that's the thing. And yeah, I'm just I'm just worried about where it's gonna go. I know that Becca said this is her least favourite one series out of the Shadow Hunters, but it's Meg's favourite or one of my Meg's favourites I think. So there, but but Becca did still give them five stars. I think you also remember her saying that she didn't particularly like, or she, at the time she was reading it, she wasn't liking where it was going. But I can't remember. It was that long ago. I can't remember what I did yesterday. I'm trying to relax today because I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm way better than I was at the beginning of the week. My cough has subsided, but the headaches are still here, like, consistently, and it's frustrating. Um, I did want to film today, but I think I'm just going to chill today and have just a, a reading day. I've got the audiobook for Chain of Iron, so I will pick that up later. Then I have some more manga that I can read. Like I said, I have another two volumes of Soul Leveling that I can read. I have multiple volumes of Full Metal Alchemist. And I have a lot more manga on my shelves. So, and like I said, I do have Chain of Iron to finish as well. So, we'll do that. I haven't done anything for Battlethon. I, th I feel like I'm such a failure on that one. I'm going to have to just potentially put that to the side for now. Because I just feel like that's just an added pressure on my brain. And, you know, brain isn't functioning normally at the moment. But, yeah, I'm enjoying what I'm reading. Even though Chain of Iron is torturing me right now. And that will be dealt with in a separate vlog. I will be giving updates in that, on that. And I'm hoping for that to be finished and edited and uploaded for next Saturday. 
I do normally, I have changed my uploading to, like, generally a Tuesday and a Saturday now. But obviously today's not going to be any video at all, because brain, I just need a chill day. This week has been a lot, mentally, at work. I'm still enjoying my job. There's a, it's just a lot on, on the brain. And it's taken me a while to shut off when I'm getting home. So this is where my current happy place is, is manga <laughs> and anime. So, yeah, I will update you when I've read some more. It might be in a week's time, whatever. I'm kind of liking these more chill month, like monthly vlogs, which is updating you on what I'm reading outside of dedicated vlogs. I think that I'm enjoying this more than feeling like I'm having to update you on a week, on a daily basis for weekly vlogs. So, depending on how this one goes, I might continue this. But anyway, I'm going to go now and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so today we are on the 13th, Wednesday. I've taken some time from work today because um, I'm on some hours back, so I've come home to read. Would I be reading these books right now? I don't know, but just because I didn't get my happy ending doesn't mean I can't read some fun romance. So I'm doing a vlog reading the Brown Sister trilogy. So this afternoon I have the audio of both of these, I will just be reading these because, like I said, I like reading romance, even if my world has gone to shit. And then, if I finish these, I did finish Solo Leveling Volume 4 last night and <laughs> it's going down and I have Volume 5 right here. I get paid on Friday. Could I get volume 6 or 7? Possibly. Have I already pre-ordered volume 8? Absolutely. Because, I, is it 8 I've pre-ordered or is it 7? I can't remember. One or the other. Anyway, I'll be reading this. But also, I will be trying to read Film My Alchemist volume 3, as I've been trying to do for God knows how long. Reason being is I am now over on the 13th and I don't know how many manga I've read. Um, let me just have a look. I'm only on nine, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smudge behind. But if I read those two, I'll be on eleven, and then I might continue with some more Spy Family because I've got a few more volumes of that than anything else. I think, yeah, or Bleach, or Orange. I still don't know how to section Orange off though because it's in letters and not volumes, so I, I can't be asked um, determining what the hell's going on with that, so I might just leave that until I can be bothered. Um, there's a lot of pages, I, mean, I say that, I say I can't be bothered, but there's a lot of pages in that and I could read a couple of volumes of something else and then I think if I can get ahead of myself, I will then go back and read that because I can give myself more time, that makes sense. And because I still got about three or four hundred pages of that left, which could be like three or four manga, three manga. Anyway, you don't care about that. I just went on a ramble, so that is that. And then I I'm gonna continue with Curse of the Fallen, but I'm currently at like one thirty in the afternoon, I'm just gonna sit down and chill with some snacks and read. First, I'm going to read this, is take a hint Danny Brown and update my Brown Sisters vlog. And then I'm going to do actual AG Brown because then that also means I can get a vlog tied up and then I have my Chain of Iron vlog and this vlog that can get edited in order to go up. And I am also considering starting up my Tuesday Sprints next week. I'm just going to see what the crack lack is for everyone, um, see what the situation only is. And I might do either Tuesday or Wednesday sprints on a regular basis now. Because um, I want to speak to all my friends again. I feel like everyone's been so busy. And you know, you know, I know, we know. I'm going to go. Bye. Hello, hello, hello friends. We are now on the 15th of September and I'm coming in with a wee bit of an update on what I've been reading. So, I don't know if I told you before now, finished Full Metal Alchemist Volume 3, finished all the level in Volume 4, 
I started solo level in volume 5, I'm going to be getting number 6, ASAP Rocky. And I've also started Crown of Midnight. Thoughts to be provided by myself in the spoilery vlog for Crown of Midnight. The Throne of Glass spoilery vlog is already out, I'll leave it linked somewhere. And I do have a full spoilery vlog playlist that I will link somewhere. And that is that on that. One thing I have been failing on recently is filming a lot. I'm also trying to get together some things that I can film. So I realised that I missed out on August on my radar. So I do have on my radar to film. But I've also got three videos. So one, two are tag videos. Three are tag videos, videos actually. And then I think I'm going to do some recommendation videos. But I need to just plan them out because I'm also doing Vlogmas this year. The plan is already there. I just need to determine when I'm going to be filming and that kind of thing. Because I'm trying to get into some kind of schedule But I just, I just don't know if it's going to happen, okay? Okay? Don't. I also joined my library somewhere, which is why these are shiny. And I thought that I would just get three books out and see how they are because I've been interested in them. Stephen Aryan has been on my radar for a while. Traditionally published by Angry Robot, I think. Orbit. This one's Orbit. But I'm sure one of the books he has is through Angry Robot. Anyway, Mage Born. One of his previous series um, and I'm gonna this is book one sorry in his previous series and I'm gonna see how this goes I do have Judas Blossom and I do have the warrior and the coward but I want to read some of his older work first because obviously people tend to get better I did read the warrior and the coward like very quickly and do you know what I'm really bad at the time I read them I was like in the mindset of like getting them done for prompts and I did go through a phase of just but basically skimming through books to just finish them which is really bad don't do that that is really bad so yeah I got that I also got Buried Magic by TJ Green I never heard of this one before saw the cover saw this part of the series saw that the library had all the series so I thought why not and it looks like one of those indie published maybe and it's very short, so I didn't see the point in purchasing it. And then I also got The Accidental Medium. Um, and I realised this was book two in a series. But these cosy mystery fantasy type things tend to be able to be read as standalones as well. So we'll see. I don't know if anyone is interested in these at all. I don't know how long I can get them out for. But I got them because they were there. My library doesn't have a lot of variety when it comes to physical books in the fantasy realm so I just picked out what I could because I was there and I'll just see how it goes there is a Libby that they have, I have access to and I do have access to all the libraries within Kirkwees but there's no way I'm going on a bus just to go to a library um, when I've got a library right near where I live so yeah that's that on that so those are the ones I've got I might try and get book one before reading this I know you don't have to read them in order when it comes to this kind of thing but I do feel like you get some kind of character development and exploration throughout the different books in this kind of series just like the Misfortune series um, by Jana Delion I think that's who it's by but yeah I am gonna head off and continue with Crown of Midnight after finishing this and seeing if I can order book 6 volume 6 and it's volume 7 that's not out until January I'm okay. I'm really okay. I genuinely think that I'm absolutely fine. I have also finished Atcher Age Eve Brown. I don't know if I've up updated the vlog for that yet because I finished it like last night. Did I finish it? I'm sure I did. Yes, I did because I was moving on to Crown of Midnight. Yeah. I did finish it. I don't think I've updated the vlog for that yet. So I'm going to go and update the vlog for that. Then the Brown Sisters vlog is done. Um, and it's going to be very short because when I really got into those books, I was really like invested and I forgot to provide updates. But the, also, I was reading them at a time where I just wanted to read. Um, and I just wanted to be by myself. <laughs> but they were comfort read. I don't know why when my brain is a mess, romance is my comfort read. I don't know. Don't ask me. I know not. But that's where I'm going. And then I 
watch some anime because again comfort and I needed some happy time really because recently life's just not gone the way I was expecting it to go but you don't care about all of that malarkey do you you just want to know what I'm reading so there we go that's what I'm reading I'm gonna stop rambling and go my friends I did want to come in and update you whilst I remember, whilst I remember on the Vampire Diaries readathon. So for the um, I'm I, I, I'm sure that she didn't mention anything about not being able to use manga or graphic novels for the prompts. So unless otherwise stated, these will be used for these prompts. No doubt there are other books I could use if they were not accepted, but I've submitted these ones already and they haven't been rejected. Therefore, I believe. They have been accepted. I actually need to double check that my chain of thorns what Jen of Iron went through. Anyway, Mystic Grill, read a book featuring friendship, Bleach Volume 2. Mystic Falls High School, read a book with a school setting, Bleach Volume 3. Yes, I'm cheating. I'm finagling things. It is what it is. There were still two separate volumes. Uh, Forbes House, read a book with a party in it, Chain of Iron. And then I'm reading Crown of Midnight at the moment, which is Lockwood Manager read a popular book. So I still have one, two, three. Oh, I only have four more because Gilbert House, read a romance. I read At Your Age, Eve Brown. So that is numero uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Numero cinco. So five books, five books almost to complete. Five books to go. So... What do I have left? The rest of Crown of Midnight, City of Ghosts by Cassandra Clare. Although I also have books two and three for that as well. Three by the end of the month because the life show is in October. And then we have Lost Boy by Christina Henry for Wicker Wickery Bridge Reader Thriller. We then have, for read a book of the historical elements, Chain of Thorns, and then read a vampire book is Caught of the Vampire Queen. And then I've got read a book with dark cover, Curse of the Fallen. Curse of the Fallen is the only one out of those that I'm physically reading. We are on the 16th and I hopefully will be done with Curse of the Fallen by the end of the month. I am very behind on that book, so yeah, I am also vlogging that experience. But I am, because I'm reading book two as well. Mm. Forbidden Realms, I think book two is. But anyway, I'm going to head off and read this whilst my chain of iron vlog is uploading. And then I will come back and give you some more updates on my reading. Hello, friends. How are you all? <laughs> we are now currently on Monday the 18th of September. I came back from my family's house and I wanted to read over the weekend but I didn't. I just had some good old family time which was very well needed after the short show that was last week. I've been reading Crown of Midnight. All thoughts, feelings and ponderances as bother as thoughts will be in that vlog but I do want to read some of these manga before I go to bed tonight so I could try and catch up with my 30 and 30 manga challenge because at the moment at the moment I have 4, 8, 10, 12 I have only read 12 and I say only it, it's not only it's just it's in my mind it's only if that makes sense so this would get me to 16 we are now on the 18th um so ideally i would like to get through these however if i do get through these it does mean i'm slowly getting through my single volumes of the stuff that i've already got so there's that but i have also got some manga from my library that's on the lib that's on the libby app and let me just Nip over and get it because I need to show you something that was sent to me by a lovely friend, so bear with. Okay, so Ash Laug sent me this and I'm so excited to get to this. 
book two doesn't come out until next year this has just come out and the note just says miss you because i haven't been doing sprints recently as you're probably already aware life's just been a lot so this author hannah nicole mahera mera i'm sorry if i can't pronounce that she started this thing on tiktok and she was talking about like doing these skits like assisted to the villain things and i thought they were just skits turns out it was about a book she was writing so yeah it was fun and um, so yeah she's written this book and i heard i've heard very good things about this i'm excited she was she, she was just she would have a, a read of this it says assistant wanted notorious high-ranking villain seeks loyal level-headed assistant for unspecified office duties supporting staff of random mayhem and terror and other dark things in general discretion is a must excellent benefits out i don't know when i will be reading this but this is just shut up the tbr but right now i don't have my manga down by my desk anymore i've currently moved it and i might show you a bit of b-roll when i go into my bedroom later of where my manga is currently sitting and i think i'm going to keep it there in the background and maybe move some of my more of my novels into different places they will still have special places on shelves so i will still have a castell shelf i will still have a shrub shrine um but i think they're just going to be moved to different shelves and that's what I want to do, basically. But not that you care about that, I'm just rambling at you right now. Look at these 30 and 30. This is by Shea Geeks Out, by the way. I don't know if I've told you who's running this readathon. She's created these little graphics. This is Anya Forger by from Spy Family. And Spy Family Volume 2 is actually one of the ones I want to read. I've watched all the anime that is currently out, but you know. I want to read the anime, read the manga too. And I've also just realised I've also just realised how many lucky cats are on here. Anyway, that's by the by. I am going to be reading these four once I finish my current chapter of Crown of Midnight, and I also need to finish editing a video for tomorrow. Or then again, I might leave it until Wednesday. I might do Wednesday Sunday uploads. I don't know. Um, I'm not in an edit. I'm not in an editing mood tonight, and I feel like I'll just half-ass it if I don't feel like I'm in the mood but I did mention this on my uh, spoiler me vlog I got a clear case and I just decorated it with loads of cute stickers that I got Sheen look he's just adorable little bunnies there are some spaces um, but I might just get some other little bunnies to put in there anyway that's by the by I'm going now hello friends we are now on Thursday the 21st and uh, I'm just going to do a quick update and then leave you to it. So, reading wise, I finished Blue Exist, Volume 7, 5 stars. I finished The Promised Neverland, Volume 2, and Spy Family, Volume 2. I have also just finished last night Chainsaw Man, Volume 2, and Lad, I don't know if I told you this, but I did finish Library Wars the other day as well. I had that on my Libby app, and I've started Berserk, but I don't know if don't know if Berserk for me. I'll I'll keep going with that one, but I do still need to read Curse of the Fallen. I've got that. Yeah, I also have Crown of Midnight that I've started. I'm about seventy percent through Crown of Midnight, and about twenty five percent through Curse of the Fallen. But I do need to start reading Pillars of Peace book 2. I can't remember the exact name of it now. Um, because that live show is next Wednesday, I think. But I have also picked up some more manga. So I can still keep up with my 1330. So I picked up Promised Land Volume 3. Because I forgot ooh, that last time I went to London, I purchased Volume 3. And then there's a Spy Family Volume 3. Because the lovely Ashlaug purchased this for me. And then there's Bleach Volume 4, 5 and 6. So far, I have read 16 volumes. Obviously, we're now on the 21st. And we're nearly the end of the 21st. So I don't know if I'm going to get another one done today. I might to try and get this done this evening. But I have another 5 volumes here. That would bring it to 21. And then, obviously... We've got to keep going, haven't we? I'm not at 
Ed's or my parents because Ed's working on Saturdays. So I do have tomorrow night to try and catch up on some more. So if I can read this and another one by tomorrow evening, which is doable, then that should be fine. I should be fine. We should be fine. But then I really do need to crack on with Pills of Peace book two because it needs reading for Wednesday. That's it, really. That's the tweet. Is there five here? There's five volumes here. So far this month though, I think I've already read like 14 things. I keep feeling like I'm missing something though. The books that I need to read before live shows, there's a Christopher Long book, which is True Life. We're doing the live show for that at the beginning of October. And that's the last in the series, so I need to read that. And then I need to read the last two books in the Cassidy Blake series. And the first one was like a three star. Oh, I've read that as well. I didn't tell you I read that. It was it was very okay. It was, you know, it's supposed to be middle grade. It's not too complex. It's, it's just a little story about a girl who sees ghosts. It was, I still enjoyed Schwab's writing. Schwab, you know, it gave you Schwab atmosphere, but just, I didn't feel the love the same way I did for the rest of Schwab books. Because I will reread all the books I've read from Schwab prior to these. And then I started, I forgot to tell you this though, I started one called Buried in Magic. I honestly could not tell you what that was about. Not the foggiest. It was one that I got from the library. And then I found the audio and script and something to do with a witch and some guy that she's attracted to some I don't know it's just yeah not something I'm interested in so that's a DNF first library book that I've got that's a DNF but the next two I'm quite hopeful for one is like a cosy fantasy cosy mystery fantasy thing um, that seems like it might be quite humorous and the other one is Mage Born by Stephen Arian and Stevie ha Stephen Arian, I've got high hopes for that book. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I've not spoken to you in forever. Um, and we're now at the beginning of October. So I need to wrap up my September vlog and work through the footage to get it edited into some kind of coherent format. <laughs> so since I last updated you, I have no idea what's been going on. So, I did finish Orange. I did also fully complete the manga 1330. Like, so, the last couple of manga that I read in order to get myself over that mark, I read Bleach Omnibus number three. And I read Berserk, and I don't know if I updated you on that, but there, there was that. Um, I then didn't want to purchase any more manga yet, because I didn't want to binge the stuff that I already had. So I went on my Libby, and there were a couple on there that I was able to pick up. So I have read Blue Exist Volume 8, that was one of them that I read, and that's one of the physical ones that I have. But then I had the, I think it's Oran School um, Host Club. I think I'm probably going to continue with the anime on that one. It's really hard to gauge on just volume one. But I'm going to probably just stick with the anime for that one. The next one I picked up was Call Me Cat Communicate. I might actually pick up the physical manga for that. I don't know how many volumes there are, I need to check that first. And then the other one was Dreaming Sun. Now, that's probably one I'm not going to continue. It, I don't mind Slice of Life, like just following young people through their journey. I might see if it's something that I can get the anime of. I just didn't particularly find it all that interesting. It was just very okay. And obviously we all know the price of manga volumes. It's just not going to be worth, and I think there is about 14, 15 of these manga volumes, so I just don't think it's a good use of my money. However, there is one called 
laughing under the clouds and I'm going to try and find volume 2 of that one online and see if it is still as interesting as I think it's going to be and because I've never heard of this one before it just popped up on my libby and I started reading it and it is really very interesting it's about this, these brothers that are the sort of guardians of this prison so if, if these people escape it's their job to get the prisoners and bring them back to prison but there's just three brothers that do this and it seems like there's some kind of history with their family that it's alluded to and the older brother is like a great swordsman and he's training the younger brothers doesn't say where the parents are I don't think like I remember and we come across the middle brother is the one that we spend the most time with and he's he doesn't think he's that strong but then there's an incident that happens and he realizes he's stronger than he thought he was and it sort of brings up more questions about what the family actually are and you know maybe some things have been sort of maybe kept from him i need to read volume two to get a full grasp of whether or not that's going to be something i want to continue and then if i can find the physical volumes I probably will continue with that with the physical volumes if it's not too long because I still need to factor in the fact that I don't have much space still so we'll see and then the next one I picked up was the Ascendance of a Bookworm and um, so I just I have watched the anime of that but again this was just a Molly and like I said the other one was the Blexus volume 6 volume 8 sorry so that was what I read manga wise book wise kind of went off piste not gonna lie I, I totally didn't stick to the books that I wanted to read for anything I'm part way through Crown of Midnight I'm part way through Curse of the Fallen and I'm I haven't even started Chain of Thorns yet and those were the books that I wanted to read for the Vampire Diaries read along I read a thorn. I just the month started off okay. Then the middle of the month started getting a little bit stressful. The last couple of weeks of of, of September have just been horrible. <laughs> For lack of a better word, they've just been an absolute mess. And all I wanted to do when I've got home <coughs> is watch anime or read manga or literally do nothing and just zoned out. And haven't spoken to anyone. The one book I did need to read was Juniper and Dawn for the podcast. I gave that four stars. It was really good. It's not going to be for everyone, but I will give a full breakdown. The full discussion is going to be on the podcast that will be live later on today. So it'll be like, this is first of October, so it will be live today um, on the podcast channel, and I will leave at least down below. But we do have a full discussion about it on there with Meg from Twelve Books a Day, and. We have very different opinions, but it's very interesting conversation. But it's not going to be a book for everyone, so I do recommend that you, one, look up trigger warnings, and two, if you're debating whether or not you want to go into it and you don't mind a few spoilers, then you can go and listen to the podcast, but just to make you aware it is full of spoilers. So do it that way you will. Yeah, me and Chels got together and we rebranded the It's All About Fantasy logo and like background and the whole thing and it's now like a deep purple with like lightning strike through it and if I've got a copy of it I will leave it here and there's like a dragon that's flying over a castle. It feels very much more us rather than like just a green and orange logo. What else did I do? I got some stuff for the post. I am scared of this. <laughs> this is way bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it'll be add to, adding to my Shelby Meharian collection. The Scarlet Veil by Shelby Meharian. This is in the same world as the Serpent and Dove trilogy, but it follows one of the characters from that trilogy. It doesn't follow the same storyline, but it's one of the characters that we meet in that story. I'm really excited to get to it. It's very thick, and let's see how many pages it is. And it even says Scarlet Veil, book two coming soon. Jesus Christ, it's only just come out. 622 pages, but obviously this is 
a thinner look, it's not a wide one. So, yeah. And look at this beautiful arc that I got. This is To Cage God by Elizabeth May. I'm going to get the, um, it's published by Daphne Press. That's the actual cover. And they just say, inspired by Slavic fantasy, to cage God is divine, to be divine is to rule, to rule is to destroy, and that is like the thing on the front. Show me with the back of it. Using ancient secrets, Galena and Sarah's mother grafted gods into their bones. With their country on the brink of war, it falls to these sisters, raised as weapons to take the helm of the rebellion and end the cruel reign of a royal family possessed by destructive gods. While Sarah reunites with her estranged lover who now leads the rebellion, Galena must infiltrate the palace to expose the empire's lies. In this world of deception and danger, her only refuge is an isolated princess whose whip smart tongue and smart gaze threaten to uncover Galena's secrets. Get Get ready for your next romantic fantasy obsession. I don't know if this is, I think this is adult as well, but it's a floppy paperback proof. So thank you very much to Black Crow PR and Daphne Press for allowing me to read a physical copy of this. This is going to be on my TBR for probably October or November, I'm not sure yet, but it is an hour until February 2024. But I'm going to make it a mission to read the books that I've been sent for review. I know I said that last year, but shit went down, things have happened, and but it's gonna it's gonna happen next year. But that's it from me for the month of September. I've got things to look forward to in October. And that is what I'm gonna focus on. So September, we're gonna put you behind us. Pretend it didn't happen. But I am proud of the fact that I got through 30 manga. And I had a very good time doing that. And I also did the Stray Dogs September challenge that is um, that was run by Emma Edit, who is on Instagram. If you're interested in following anything anime, manga related, then I will leave her Instagram handle down below. And she did like a little challenge for like the back end of the month. And every two days it was just a cute little post. I enjoyed taking part in that. So there were some positives in September. Uh, just need to carry on the positives and build on that going through into October. If you do like me and you want to see more of me, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I am planning on doing a vlogmas, so there'll be a lot of planning coming up um, over the next couple of months. If you have any ideas of what you would like to see in vlogmas videos, please let me know. And if you are here and you don't let me know you're here, you don't have anything to say, please leave a black heart, it's very much appreciated. And until next time, enjoy what you read and what you're doing, and I will see you all very soon. if you spend the winter all alone, yeah. Cause I don't please fall I don't please fall